to make graduation cupcakes since May is a graduation month, mostly for everyone, May slash June. So today we will be making um, the cap for our graduation cupcakes and we are going to make the diploma and it's going to look really nice. So the things you will need for today is a rolling pin, a fondant smoother, um, a sharp knife, a small rolling pin optional, three brushes, three um, some fondant tools, just I need this one the ball tool and then this smoother tool and then after we you would need this if you guys want to or you can use a knife um, to cut the fondant we need a little bit of almond extract we need some cornstarch some black and white fondant we're going to use very little fondant for the white one but black we will be well I would be making 48 today you can make however much you want I'll be making 48 so I'll show you we're gonna roll the fondant together and I'll show you guys how you can do this so um, right now we're gonna start rolling with the fondant we're gonna start with the black fondant first to make the cap and if you guys are gonna make this let's say um, make it two days before or a day before because it needs to dry when you put it on a cupcake or whatever you're putting it on it, ha it can't be like it's gonna fall off so um, do it a day or two before and so now um, usually fondant is really hard when you start using it so right now mine is kind of hard too so I'm just gonna put in the microwave for seven seconds you can do this with any type of fondant so I'm gonna put in the microwave for seven seconds and we're gonna start rolling it and kneading it and I'll tell you guys the process and just in case you guys don't never put this in the microwave I tried it before the whole microwave it was all electrocuting so um, just put it on a plate or a platter or anything you have. So um, I'm just going to microwave this for seven, five to seven seconds and we will start kneading our Okay guys, so I just microwaved my fondant and we're going to be using, I'm going to be using um, that much but use however much you need. He is, I'm just going to be using some first of all um, to start my, the top of the cap, it's like a square so we're going to be cutting that first. So I'm just going to need very little for right now. So right now what I want you to do is put some cornstarch on your rolling pin. Um, use cornstarch. It's better. Some people use different stuff for it, but I prefer to use cornstarch. So we're just going to rub it all around your table where you're going to roll it in. So we are going to start kneading our fondant. And we're just going to do this. Just knead it until it gets smooth. It usually takes two to four minutes, so just keep on kneading it, and then after I'll show you guys what to do next. So now we're going to make a ball with our fondant. Now with the rest of the fondant that you had, um, put it away immediately or else it will get really hard and you do that with anything gum paste so and always make sure your workstation is clean never make um never let it be dirty so right now we're just gonna roll our phone on I put some cornstarch on our on our rolling pin so just roll it be gentle with it don't be harsh with it so we're going to roll it about um, an eighth of an inch thick. We want that, so... Oh my gosh. So, fondant is very sensitive. If you put it with water, they, fondant and water never mix. So, we're just going to keep on rolling this until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. And what we're going to do with this fondant is I'm making 48, um, I'm making 48 the top of the caps. I'm making 48 caps in diplomas. So it will take me a long time to cut these. So I'm just going to keep on doing this. Just rolling it not too thick or else it will break when you use it. Fondant can be used for cakes, cupcakes, um, cookies. It can be really used for anything. Okay, so now I'm going to get my knife and we are going to cut our 
our top of the cap. So I will show you guys how to do it now. I just wanted to give you guys this tip. If you ever have like let's say cornstarch um, on the top of your fondant, you just do get a pastry brush, just brush it and it will get off and then after that's all. So now we're gonna be making our our cap or top of the cap. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a small square. So we're going to be doing that, and I want to show you guys this. So I'm going to make be making 48 of these, so just that, be gentle with it. I'm using a knife right now. Okay, so now it's our, now I have to make 48 more, so. So right here, I have my 48 caps, the top of the cap, so I'll just see that right there. And now we are going to get a little piece of fondant, roll it into the ball, I mean it into a log, I'm sorry. So we're just going to do this. We don't want it to roll it into a thin log, we just want it to roll it into the log. Okay, so I have my little spatula right here, my icing spatula. I'm gonna cut off the end of the tip. Okay, I'll just use a knife for this. Be easier. This will be one. Okay, so there it is. So I'm just gonna cut however much I can. We're gonna start smoothing it. Okay, so here are the bottom of the cap. So here it is. I just rolled it like that, like. And then after I just pressed it on the table. So now I have some um, almond extract here. You can use any extract. The, thing, the reason I am using um, almond extract is there's alcohol in it. And you could use vodka for this as well. But um, alcohol is better um, than if you use water. Okay, so now I'm going to grab... I have a little paintbrush here. I'm just going to put the sides here, just the top. Okay. And after, I would glue the top to the bottom. And there it is. Then we will make the tassel, if you guys don't know what a tassel is. The little string right that comes down. We'll make the tassel as well, so we're just going to let this dry a little bit and I will be doing the rest of these.
Okay, so now we have our caps here, and it, I think it looks beautiful. It's really nice. Here it is. It's really nice. So now we are going to move on to the next step of this, and it's going to be the the diploma. So now I'm just gonna get some fondant right here. I got some white fondant. Remember to wash your hands when you're finished doing um, the cap. So remember to do that. So because if you don't wash your hands, meanwhile, if you don't wash your hands, meanwhile, what? If you don't wash your hands, meanwhile, after the black fondant, the black fondant can go into the white fondant. So right now, I'm just gonna knead it, do the same process that we were doing. Put a little bit of cornstarch on. I'm using a small rolling pin. You could use a big rolling pin. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Shape it into a ball. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're going to roll this an eighth of an inch thick. And so we're just going to roll it to an eighth of an inch thick. And be careful with fondant because if you mix it um, too much, then after the fondant will crack, it, it won't be smooth. You see how it's smooth right now? That's how it should be when it's on a cake, a cupcake, when it's on a cake or a cupcake, so, or a, even a cookie. So let me just knead this a little more. Okay. I'm just trying to get all the cornstarch out of my hands. Okay, so I'm just going to roll this. Okay, roll it a little more thick. gonna do here now is get me get my knife or you can use your spatula and we are going to do we're just gonna cut about a centimeter centimeter long rectangle so there it is hold on actually We'll do two of these, or however much we can possibly do. So, put this to the side. Now we're just going to roll this. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to roll it. Just like a diploma. Okay. So there it is. And then after, we're going to leave a little line there. We're going to put a little bit of your extract or whatever you're using just glue it on there and then we will put it there and then after we will put a little 
line there to make it look like a diploma. So there is our graduation decoration cap and diploma. So um, this decoration really came out nice. I want to show you guys right here with a nice little diploma. So it's right here. It's really you can put on a cupcake. You, I'm gonna put on a cupcake and I'll leave. Um, I'll put a picture of it. Hopefully, let me just. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, tune in for next week. There's two more baking videos next week, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good, great week. Have a great week. I mean, sorry, edit that part out. Stop recording. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. These graduation decorations in the scroll, they look so nice. So, guys, tune in for next week for another baking. I mean, this week for another baking video. Sorry. And um, so yeah, so we would be art. My channel would be posting two videos a week. Um, we would try our best to do it the days Wednesdays and Fridays, and we'll post it. Um, late in the evening so um, thank you guys for watching and have a good week and enjoy these really you guys should make them it really came out really nice so make them and I'm going to show you just the scroll it looks really beautiful here it is So remember to subscribe to my channel for more baking videos. Um, comment down below for whatever baking videos you want. Um, I, we can make whatever. So thank you guys for watching this week's ep this week one of the first week. Bye. Bye.